he joins me now. Sir, this is, this is an earth, this is an earthquake that you're suggesting 6040 is no longer the way forward. What do we do instead? Thanks, thanks for having me, Richard. Great to be here. Um, so first thing, I mean, uh, yes, we need a new playbook in this environment. We don't think that the last 40 years prior to 2020 will, will be a good guide for what's ahead of us. Um, that said, it doesn't mean that the 40 allocation uh, to balance and 60 is broadly wrong. What, what we really mean by this is that the simplistic approach of simply like, you know, getting your allocation broadly to a broad index uh, of bonds and a broad index of equities and sitting there, uh, you know, setting and forgetting will likely not be working as much as well as it has in the past. And so we need to uh, we need to approach that differently going forward. So the, 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 your, the idea of just 60, 40 in a broad, a broad based index fund on both sides. But now you're saying we need to prefer more granular digging into sectors like energy and healthcare, selecting those, you know, cash flows that better weather recessions. Um, you want a, 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 a portfolio that favours income, but at the same time gets into the nitty gritty of underneath it. How do you do that? Yeah, so, you know, if you look at, at after the global financial crisis, um, Whatever you did, basically, like it could have been 40, 60, 70, 30, uh, 80, 20, uh, you know, you could not get really wrong. I mean, you couldn't go wrong, really. I mean, they were all delivering quite good returns overall. Um, and the reality is that we're in a world where everything was, you know, you had a bull, bull market in everything uh, during that period. And whenever things were getting a bit sour, then you could count on central banks to come and uh, to the rescue. And so that provided a very uh, favorable environment for a simple, simplistic mm -hmm. allocation like 60-40, uh, again, in the simplest, simplistic form, simplest form. What we're talking about now going forward is that that, that might not be a crazy starting point, but um, you will have to do more than that to be able to generate return. Uh, we need to be more granular. So that means you need to not simply look at broad market exposure. You need to think a bit harder about thematic uh, sectors, countries, and so on will be more important. Searching for relative value will be more important going forward. And moreover, uh, you will need to also be more nimble. Okay. Um, you know change more quickly and again you know setting and forgetting is not likely to be a recipe uh, like it has been uh, over so, the last 20 40 years so i can i can hear the dear viewer watching saying this is all great stuff glad to know about this how do i do it because you know i i, I would normally go and yeah you know, i mean i i realize at the professional level it's very diff it's very easy in the sense of you know you have the facilities but but for the person who's now got to manage a 401k or a retirement a defined contribution pension what do they do so uh one of the things that's going to be required in our view is that um you know, when you think about an allocation for the next five years, you're going to need to go back and revisit your allocation more frequently than you would have in the past. Wow. Uh, you need to think about uh, relative value opportunities that arise. So right now we think, you know, uh, if you think about inflation, which is a very uh, significant uh, story at this moment, uh, it leads to some more granular view between like inflation index bond versus nominal bonds and uh, something you didn't have so, to really worry about. Before. Now right. is an, is, is a, uh, I just you, wanted... you need to... I just want to jump in because before we finish, to, to, to ask, you also, in another report I read, you know, the, the variety of assets that one should include. Now, there's always been this idea, oh, put four or five percent in gold because a balanced portfolio. But I imagine as as 60, 40 goes, then you are looking at crypto, gold, even commodities to sort of balance out the portfolio. Yeah, I think one thing that, uh, you know, is, is a massive story right now is that you just think about cash. Cash is yielding, uh, you know, four or five percent, depending on how you, uh, you implement this. Something that, you know, for the last 15 years before, there was uh, more like, you know, zero. So that is already making the bar for your allocation much higher. You can already generate that kind of income just by sitting on cash. And now you need to think about much harder about how you redeploy the rest. Um, and that's another game changer in this environment. That's why we favor like short duration bonds at this juncture. Need to think about other asset class uh, across the spectrum, not simply just the broad, you know, equity and and uh, and bond uh, allocations. Very interesting. Thank you, sir. Glad that you. Uh, Thank you very much. Talked about that. Very appreciate that. We're going to show you the markets.